the BBC News Now on BBC One Wales with George Alagaya. This is an emergency broadcast from the BBC. Please pay attention. Emergency information will soon be broadcast. This is an emergency broadcast from the BBC. Please pay attention. Emergency information will soon be broadcast. This is an emergency broadcast from the BBC. Please pay attention. Emergency information will soon be broadcast. Around 10 minutes ago, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration informed the United States government that a large object entered the solar system between the Kuiper belt and the Oort cloud. What the object is has not been determined as of yet. However, the object could potentially pose a threat to human life. You are advised to stay in your homes and avoid going out in public. This is to avoid being caught out in the open should this object pose a threat to Earth. The object is moving at a fast and steady rate and its estimated time of arrival at Earth orbit is four and a half hours. Ensure you have a battery-powered radio as there is the possibility that television services could be forced offline. If you know people who are in a public area, do not attempt to contact them. The police will inform them of the current situation and instruct them to return home, and attempting to make calls could lead to widespread telephone line issues. If your children are at school, they will be returned home shortly. Do not make attempts to collect them. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration are communicating with the United Nations and information is currently being relayed to various governments around the globe. British space experts are now looking into the current situation to determine the specifics. At the current moment, we do not have any more information to bring you at this current moment but this broadcast will remain active so new information can be relayed as quickly as possible. Please stay tuned to this channel, and stay calm. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration has relayed new information to the United Nations and they have determined that this object is not some sort of spacecraft, but a planetary-like object. This object is similar in size to the moon of Saturn known as Mimas. However, the object does not seem to be a planet, as instead of having a large molten or solid core, its heat signature seems to come from something much smaller like some sort of central reactor. It is possible that this planetary-like object is some sort of space station. As such, it is possible that on board there may be alien life approaching Earth. Their intentions are unknown and the National Aeronautics and Space Administration have received no signals or made any attempts to contact the station. Our advice does not change. Remain calm, remain in your homes and have a battery-powered radio with spare batteries ready should television services go offline. Please stay tuned to this channel and await further information.
We have received new information regarding this space station. It has now become apparent that this space station is on course for Earth. Their intentions are currently unknown but there is no doubt in the minds of the United Nations and the National Aeronautics and Space Administration that the space station will arrive at Earth. The United Nations have requested that we make an attempt to contact them but despite them moving rapidly towards Earth they are still out of range and it is unlikely that any signals we sent would reach them. The United Nations are on standby to take military action should the station show hostile intent. They have also instructed the various militaries of the world to wait for a clear sign of hostile intent, as they may have peaceful intentions and it is in the best interests of the human race to not start an avoidable conflict. We have no more information to bring you. Please stand by and await further information. Unfortunately it has come to our attention that the space station has hostile intentions. The space station has begun to show an exponential increase in energy output, directed towards the top right of the station. What this energy output is for is unknown, but what is known is that the station has stopped moving and is positioned about 165,000 miles away from Saturn. It is possible that this energy output is for some sort of energy beam. As such, you are advised to say your final goodbyes. If this station is indeed preparing to attack the planet, the human race simply cannot defend such an attack and you should prepare for a dignified death. Do whatever you feel is necessary to prepare, within legal or moral reason. Say goodbye to your loved ones or do an activity that comforts you. As the end of humanity approaches, ensure that your death will be a dignified one. Do not panic. Allow yourself to die with dignity, honor and respect. If you wish to die on your own terms, suicide is authorized. In order to do so, use either a firearm or a blade. To commit suicide using a blade, use a sharp blade and slice across your throat. Death will come quickly. To do so using a firearm, place the muzzle of the firearm towards the roof of your mouth and pull the trigger. Do not commit suicide if you have a family, especially if you have young children. It is important to not leave them alone and in emotional distress during their final moments. Do your best to keep them comfortable. It is your choice as to whether or not you tell them of current events. That is all from us at the BBC. We hope that your death is as peaceful and dignified as possible, and we will end with the national anthem. <laughs>